John and I always give our poor and uneducated relationship <laughs> advice just through personal experience, but I figured we have a email from a listener, so I thought I would bring in my friends from the relationship recovery. I have Tiffany and Kirsten in studio today. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in because I got this email, and I feel like you're going to be able to help me answer it better than I could answer it myself, okay? Okay, okay. We're, so, we're ready. Okay. I'm a divorced 48-year-old straight dad Long story short, I met a woman who's almost 16 years younger than I am. We're feeling it big time, but our only big hang up is that the two of us have a huge age difference. It's not an issue besides the occasional, you know, pop culture references and things between them, but he's kind of worried about what his friends are going to think, especially his friends that are women. I'm worried that her friends are going to think, you know, I'm the old guy and we've discussed it and decided true friends are going to be accepting. But what do you like? Do you have any thoughts or wisdom for couples with a big age difference? So I think the big thing here is it's actually a codependency problem. Okay. Meaning you're putting somebody else's feelings, emotions above your own and you're taking that on. So you're saying the feelings and emotions of their friends. Yeah. You're people pleasing. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't, you might not view that as people pleasing right off the bat, Mm -hmm. but you're putting somebody else's opinion above your own and may, and and that's more important. You're prioritizing that over your own wants and needs. So that's what I hear. Because he's saying, he's like, we're happy. We don't have any issues other than this age gap. And that's the hang up because we're worried what people think. A hundred percent. Okay. So I think you go there. But okay. Tiff can actually weigh in pretty well on this one. Yeah. So there's an age gap between my husband and I of 11 years. Okay. 10 part of the year, 11 the other part. So okay, yeah. I always tease him about that. <laughs> but, um, you know, I feel like when you're in a really secure relationship, which it sounds like they are, mm-hmm. um, age just doesn't matter. You know, it's right. a relationship is built on mutual respect and good communication. And really, it doesn't matter what the outside world thinks. However, I just think you've got to get out of your head that, you know, these social norms that we take on Mm -hmm. feel like it has to look a certain way or be a certain way. And it really doesn't. If you're happy, you're happy. You know, I think that that's so true because a lot of us, we see what's accepted socially. And then if our life internally, like within our relationships, isn't matching that, we go, it's a red flag. Oh, there's something wrong. But it doesn't have to be that way if you just focus on yourself and your partner. And I think people end up in un- unhealthy relationships to match society's norms instead mm-hmm. of just honoring the relationship they're in and being happy with it and not caring what anyone else thinks about the external look. And they're going to, as long as it's healthy, it's healthy. If you have a good, secure relationship, who cares what age it is? <laughs> who cares? Um, If people want to learn more about relationship recovery or if they have other questions for you based on age gaps or people pleasing and things like that, how can they find out more information? So they can find us at therelationshiprecovery.com and follow us on all things social media at The Relationship Recovery. And actually in Utah, February 25th, we're also hosting a live event called Let's Talk With Our Friends She Leads. You can actually come hang out with us in person. Cool. So we would love to have you attend. Just visit letstalk.info. I know we always uh, give unsolicited advice. Yeah. But Mm -hmm. solicited advice actually worked better. Yeah, no, that was good. (laughs) Yeah. In fact, uh, we're going to start doing this every Wednesday. We'll be answering your relationship questions with our friends from the Relationship Recovery. Also... Is anyone living in this kind of life right now where you do have a big age difference? I know. It's funny because even like on TV, you'll see a lot of actors and actresses in movies with big age gaps. So uh, call us right now if you have experienced this firsthand. Carrie's on the phone from Lehigh. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Hi. What's going on? Oh, I just wanted to respond to you all about what you were talking about on the radio. Yeah, so we just had on uh, the relationship recovery experts, and we were talking about big age gaps when it came to uh, when it comes to relationships. Yes, I I can relate to that. Oh, so okay. My my husband and I we actually have a 30, 30 year age gap between the two of wow, us. Wow, Carrie, that's um. When did you meet? We met when I was very young. I was twenty, and mm-hmm. he was fifty years old. I was actually a server at his family's reunion, oh. and he just really hit it off. And I honestly, I never thought I would fall someone fall for someone with such a age gap. Yes. Yeah, but that's what happened. And now I'm 44 years old, and Carter, he's 74, and we're very active. And I 
think it's age is such a mindset mm-hmm. when it yeah. comes to certain things too. And it just really depends on the, the couple. And But it was really hard. My family did not react well to it. Um, it took them, they were very harsh about all of this. Mm. And I just wish that they would have had um, you know, a more open reaction. Yeah, more support. To be so hard. And that's what yeah. the uh, relationship recovery experts, they were talking about mm-hmm. how we kind of don't get in these relationships because we're worried. We want to please other people. Yeah, we want And I think when you what? change it to that kind of a mindset and you're like, hey, everybody says don't be a people pleaser. And then you look at relationships and all we do is people please. And I mean, right. exactly. and Kelly, you're saying, look, it, it worked. It worked for you, at least. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Oh, and here, when we got engaged, they were, oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. So they have more, <laughs> <laughs> more of a reaction instead yeah. of happening. Wow. Oh, Carrie, I'm so glad you called in because, I mean, yeah. 30 years. So thank That's you. Big. Yeah, thanks for that. Thank you. Hi, Max. Who's this? Hi there. It's Jillian. Hey, Jillian. How you doing? I'm hanging in there. How are you guys? We're doing okay. All right. So uh, yeah. we had our friends from the Relationship Recovery and We're talking age gaps. So what do you think? Um, I love that you're doing this. I am going to definitely reach out to them. I feel like I need a lot of relationship recovery mm. because, and Chantel and I, I mean, she's my girl. I can <laughs> relate to her so much because it's like I was dating, the pandemic happened. So then things got weird because you just didn't know if you could go out and you really couldn't go to a lot of places. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then people were wearing masks. So then you could just see their eyes and then, Everyone got awkward. I don't know if you feel the same way, Chantel, but I feel like it got awkward. Yeah, super right? weird. <laughs> okay, so now we're back in it, and I was dating this guy last year. I really, really, really liked him, and he was only like a month single. He had been engaged to this lady for like six and a half years, and then he got single, and then he reached out to me, and he had all of these friends that were girls girls uh-huh. that were just friends and some of them he had previous relations with and others he didn't but what made me mad is we were around the same age but we looked like there was a big age difference oh, and this okay. female friend yeah so he looked a lot older than me but in actuality we were like within a couple years yeah apart, yeah but he looked a lot older so then this female friend was like Hey, you know, she's cute, but she looks really young. She's really young. Da 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 da. And it's like, lady, you don't even know me. Um, yeah. So I just feel like there is a lot of judgment. It's crazy how much influence and power we will give our friends. Where mm-hmm. it's like, they should have no power over anything, whether it's an age gap or different decisions we make. You know, even like when I was going through my divorce, a lot of friends and family felt they had power of authority on what to do in the situation what you were supposed to do yeah and it's like whoa whoa, whoa. let me let me do me and it's the same thing with like the age gaps it's like as soon as you stop learning to people please which is impossible (laughs) like i think that is just something we will always work on our entire lives you're never perfect yeah but um as soon as you can take that out of your decision making process you'll start making decisions that are better for you well that's the thing so then so he, he, like, wants to take a step back at this point, and I was falling for him, you know. I thought yeah. we had a good connection. And and I don't know still how to navigate men that have a lot of female friends. I kind of struggle with that, but then I've learned to adapt because I work with a lot of males, so I can't really – I mean, it's the pot calling the kettle black, so right. I can't really – judge right so i have to have somebody that's understanding of what i do because i have a lot of male relationships with work so anyway so that's a side note but it kind of like kept happening and then i thought for myself you know i want a man that thinks for himself so if he's going to put this friendship that he's known this lady for maybe a couple months or whatever above maybe the length that we've known each other as acquaintances and he's going to think again like you're saying not for himself, and he's going to judge other people's opinions, then that's fine. Then maybe that means that I'm not meant for you because right. I want someone that has a backbone that's going to think for themselves. Yeah. Yes. And put his friends in place and say, no, 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 she's with me. Get on board. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like either you're, you're, you're in it with me or you're not. Let's yeah. build it together. But it's so hard because I think people, and again, the age thing, I think it's very much a Utah thing. You're from Texas. Yep. I'm from Colorado. We're, we're in Utah. 
people are obsessed with age here. Yes. People always ask my number, even though I don't look my age. And it's like, well, then I'm going to lie. It's, uh, it's like, if you're if you're obsessed with age, I'll just tell you what you want to hear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love that. I but it's like, so when men, when men ask my age and I don't really know them, it's like, okay, well, um, you're going to ask my age, which is a little bit of a touchy subject for anyone. Let me ask you what's in your checking or savings account then. Let's, right. let's make things awkward for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, or, all right, you're going to do this. I'm going to do this back. Yeah. Like, let's ask a question then about something maybe you don't want to disclose, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, I love it. Right? Love it, Jillian. Hey, thanks for the call. So, thanks, you guys. Hey, I make sure you reach out so to much. Relationship Recovery. They're good people. Yeah, I love working with them. Oh, I am going to. I can't wait. Okay, cool. All right, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. You can talk to Relationship Recovery, and how can people find you? You can follow us at The Relationship Recovery on Instagram, TikTok, all things social media, really. And we have resources at therelationshiprecovery.com.